Welcome to the Basic Tech Channel. In today's video commentary, we will discuss why the U.S. Navy has two different types of aircraft carriers. The giant aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, full of fighter jets, operates in the Atlantic Sea. This is an interesting and important topic in the military world, so let's get started. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is a supercarrier-class aircraft carrier that is a symbol of United States naval power. With a length of about 337 meters and a weight of more than 100,000 tons, this ship is one of the largest in the world. Equipped with advanced technology, it provides an efficient and powerful base for the Naval Air Force. In the Atlantic Sea, this ship displays a majestic presence and unmatched power. Scattered across its deck are a number of advanced fighter jets such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet, F-35C Lightning II, and EA-18G Growler. They are ready to fly to maintain security and secure water areas with superior capabilities. This aircraft carrier exudes extraordinary power and sophistication. From afar, the fighter planes neatly arranged on the deck look like a group of iron birds ready to fly into the sky. Amidst the brilliance of the sun, a shiny F-35C jet waits proudly for its next mission. Trained pilots from various branches of the United States military performed smooth takeoffs and precise landings on short, narrow runways. It is a wonderful exhibition of skill and coordination. This ship is also equipped with modern defense systems, including missile systems, advanced radar, and stealth technology to deal with potential threats. With the presence of the USS Gerald R. Ford in the Atlantic, the military power of the United States and its allies in the area becomes stronger and ensures stability in these waters. A combination of power, advanced technology, and human expertise, USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 is not just an aircraft carrier. It is a symbol of military excellence, a manifestation of the dedication and hard work of heroes committed to protecting and maintaining peace throughout the world. Hopefully this explanation is useful. Thank you for joining and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on other military and defense topics. See you in the next video.